Hey guys, Rolando Rodriguez here with xgains.com where we got workouts that work, eats that satisfy, and everything else you need to reach your lifestyle goals. talking about fasted training. I don't know how many of you guys know, but I've been training fasted for almost four years now, ever since I started Lean Gains, and part of Lean Gains is intermittent fasting, and so my personal window, my typical window of eating is from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m., and then from 9 p.m. to 3 p.m. the next day, I don't eat anything. I typically work out in the morning. I love to wake up early, typically wake up around 4.30. It's awesome because it's just you and a few animals that you get to hear waking up and the rest of the world's asleep. So there's nothing to get in your way if you wake up and work out first thing. Some people hate it, that's fine, but hey, give it a go and see. We'll talk more about that later. Let's get back to fasted training. Here's my typical routine, right? So I eat from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. every single day. And then I go to bed around 10 p.m. and I wake up the next day, nowadays around 4.30, 4.45 to try to be working out by five. My workouts consist of one strength training routine, 30 minutes, and then one cardio routine, sort of cross training uh, with weights, lighter weights of course, but something to keep the heart rate pumping the entire time those 30 minutes are, are going. So one's a strength training and then one sort of a cardio training session. And then I'll finish it off, typically off with a uh, 3K run that I try to do within 30 minutes. I try to keep it to an 8, 30, 9 minute uh, mile 3K run, right? And so that takes, it, that's an hour and a half of working out. Now my strength training routines are 30 minutes, so they're high intensity too. It's not just the cardio that's pumping. My typical heart rate during my strength training routines is anywhere from 130 to 145. And then during the cardio ones, it's anywhere from 150 to 165. And I'm keeping the intensity there. I have my wristwatch uh, on, my heart rate monitor, checking what's going on and making sure that I'm upping the intensity every time and I'm keeping track of my numbers and I know when I'm reaching personal best and I've done it fasted. There's nothing to be afraid of and this message is coming from somebody who just trains on an eight hour fast. No, I've trained and trained number of times monthly on a 20 or 22 or an 18 hour fasted state and my workouts are fine. Let's go, let's rewind now. The first day that I tried training on an empty stomach, on a fasted state, meaning I woke up from sleeping the night before and got on my gym clothes and worked out without my little piece of toast or my eggs was scary. I was of the mindset, as many of us are, that to get through a workout, you're gonna need a little something in your stomach, right? So if you're gonna have an intense workout, then you're gonna wanna have a little bit of carbs because your body's gonna actually access the carbs that you just ate to be able to you know, make you work out better. Not really. I was of that mindset, so it was sort of a placebo pill in my mind anyways. Hey, you know what? I need something before I go to work out. It gets me in this mindset of working out. Well, guess what? The first day that I didn't eat something, that I trained fasted, I was terrified. I got through the workout, I didn't die. Mentally, I thought I was a little bit slower. I don't think I actually was, because the next day I said, you know what, screw it, I'm just going all out. And I was able to go all out. And I had some personal best training that day fasted. So the third day I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm going all out in my workouts, this is fine. So when I started training fasted, I didn't do, I didn't train my first day on a 20 hour fast, but about three weeks into fasted training where I would stop eating at 9 p.m. and then work out at 5 a.m. the next morning, I realized everything was fine and then I had a meeting that morning and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna work out before dinner tonight and I'm not gonna eat lunch at three o'clock because after three weeks of training fasted, I felt awesome because there's nothing holding you down or bringing you down while you're working out. Some people say, oh, I feel like throwing up. My little brother throws up if he eats too much. So then that's indicative of, hey, if a lot of people throw up while they're working out, what if they had nothing in their stomach? And then I have friends that get really gassy while they work out and that's just disastrous. I mean, that's not good for anybody, especially if 
they're pretty powerful. It's just annoying is what it is. So anyways, if you're trading fast and you can avoid those situations for the most part, but regardless, let's talk about the intensity. It was there. The first time I worked out on a 20 hour fast, I worked out at 5 p.m., not eating anything since 9 p.m. the previous day. Guess what? I did a strength training, I did a cardio training session each 30 minutes, so that was an hour, and then I ran a 3K under 30 minutes, and I felt great. And that's typically my workout routine. So on the, my first 20 hour fast, I did my normal workout routine and felt awesome. There's days where I've trained uh, on a 22 hour fast. I don't do it all the time, nor do I recommend it, especially if it's your first time training fasted. Because if you're gonna start intermittent fasting the first day, you're gonna have those sugar headache withdrawals that we'll talk about later. They'll be minimal if you don't change your diet and start the fast at the same time. So for example, what I would say is if you want to try intermittent fasting, especially if you're going to try to train while in your fasted state, I would certainly say to not change your diet the day before. So don't start a low carb diet the day before. You know, do eat what you normally eat and then stop. And while you're fasting, in your fastest state, just work out and see how you feel. I guarantee you by day three, you'll say, hey, you know what, I feel normal because you will. On a 22 hour fast, I've worked out for 30 minute strength training, a 30 minute cardio session, and then a 30 minute run, followed by an entire seven inning softball game. I mean, it's just softball, but I didn't eat anything until after the softball game. So on that day, I actually didn't, I fasted for 26 hours because we went to go eat after the softball game and I knew that I was going to eat a lot. So I didn't eat the day, you know, that day to, to sort of save up those calories, right? So the point of this video is if you want to try intermittent fasting and if you want to train fasted, go for it. I'm probably as lean as I've ever been at this weight. So I'm currently at 170 and about 8% body fat, which is what I like to be at, and I haven't been 178% body fat. Normally I've been 170 with like 10 or 12% body fat. So it works, it can work, and if it's something that you think fits your lifestyle and helps you succeed, it's nothing to be afraid of. Training fasted is okay. Your body can do it. From this video, what I wanted you to take is that you do not have to be afraid of training fasted. The first day, there might be like a mental block or a placebo effect, hey, I need something. The second, if you keep coming with the intensity, you'll be fine. The only caveat that I suggest about training fasted is don't start a, a new diet. Don't be going on a, on a, you know, on a cleansing diet where all you're drinking is, is, is shakes for X amount of times a day uh, while you're in your fed state and then you're intermittent fasting plus training fast and no, don't, don't go on a low carb diet. Don't start something new. Do your typical, whatever makes you feel good, normal diet and try to train fast and see what happens. And on the next video, I'm going to be talking about more what your body's actually going through when you train fasted and why I do it and why I believe that I'm seeing the results, the science behind it and that you really don't have to be eating five to six meals a day. So that's it for now. Let us know if you got any comments down below. It's Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com. That's x dash, not the word, but the symbol dash, gains.com. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Peace.